am I gonna lick a gemstone today? Do you think we get more subscribers if I licked a gemstone? Hey guys, so just a few housekeeping things before we begin the episode. I like gemstones, you like gemstones, but let's just get some things done and then we'll cut to the chase. Uh, number one, I'm gonna need you to ring the bell so you don't miss out on episodes coming up in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, again, you don't wanna miss out on what we've got coming up. And you should probably just do that right now because this episode's gonna be out of this world and I don't want you to get you know too excited and then you forget. So did, did you do it? I'm watching you. We pulled these gemstones out of you. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Well, since I am such a gem. Um, okay, so we pulled these gemstones out of you. We must be talking about minerals in your body or gemstones in your body, which is not entirely true. There are not actually gemstones in your body, but there are, um, there is copper in your body, there's chromium in your body, and all of those, copper and chromium, can actually be found in gemstones as well. So as you all know from watching this channel, chromium colors ruby and some emeralds, and copper, um, when we talked about malachite and azure malachite, was also another coloring agent. So today we're gonna kind of look at the similarities between your body and gemstones, which I, um, didn't really like biology class, but what I am cut out about is to talk to you about gemology and how gemstones actually have a few things in common with the human body, which I think is just bizarre and wild. Wow, this is gonna be a long episode. All right, so we have four specimens in here. This is halite, and I could lick this and it would taste like salt because it has sodium in it. Elizabeth is in London. Elizabeth is graduating. I think today, actually, I'll just send her a text message. Elizabeth is graduating with her FGA. So she's not only a geologist, she's officially a gemologist. She's super cool. That's why she's not on this episode today. Yep. Oh, that's another one. Should I lick it? Do you dare me? Do you double doggy dare me? Copper, appetite. Coral, love it. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about gemstones, minerals, basically minerals in your body. And for all of you out there who wanna learn more, don't forget to check out our other videos on the channel. Um, today we're gonna to do a very high level view of appetite. We're gonna talk about halite, halite, and we're gonna talk about copper, magnesite. So I am gonna basically teach you about what is found in our body, why it's in our body, where you can actually eat it, and what it does. Number one, this right here is appetite. Um, so appetite has come in, you can find it in several different colors. It has a cool crystal structure, that beautiful blue, y'all. This is how it comes out of the ground, which I think is wild, that beautiful bright blue. I mean, this looks like a Jolly Rancher. When you shine the light through this crystal, it literally looks like you plugged it in. And you know what? It looks like a neon sign at like a Mexican restaurant. It is so vibrant and beautiful, but we can also learn a lot from appetite. All right, so appetite is actually found in various different types of rocks, from those that are cooled from lava to those that are made from compressing grains of sand. Um, it is, you know, a pretty, it's, it's pretty common. You're gonna find it, you know, pretty much all over the world. It comes in a variety of different colors. But what's really cool about appetite is it's actually similar to something in your body. Do you have any idea what that is? It's actually your bone. Um, appetite and bone are actually quite similar and it's pretty neat. You know, there's 206 bones in your body and appetite is has something in common with each and every, with each and every one of those. So the 206 bones in your body are actually made of, an, of appetite or an appetite-like mineral. Um, so, which is just so neat that what we pull out of the ground this has something in common with you. You know, your, your teeth and your bones are actually made from appetite or an appetite-like mineral. All right, so another really cool mineral is calcium, which is CA on the periodic table of elements. So what's really cool about calcium is in your body, it helps you build strong bones and teeth. 
It helps regulate blood pressure. It helps your blood to clot. You can find calcium in dairy. I think broccoli has a lot of calcium in it, doesn't it? And tofu. I have an appetite for ice cream. Calcium, though, you can actually find in gemstones as well. And one that we're gonna talk about today is coral. So we've talked about coral in other episodes. And if you wanna learn more about coral, um, check out the link at the top of the screen. But again, don't check that link out until you're done watching this video. Okay, so this piece of coral right here is actually made of calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3. Ca being calcium, C being carbon, and O, being oxygen. Um, so calcium carbonate um, is basically a building block for coral. So coral has the same mineral that is in your body and helps you build strong teeth and bones and helps your blood um, pressure stay regulated, which I think is so cool that, you know, the f there is a mineral that helps the human body function that also builds a gem. Alrighty, so chromium is the next mineral that we'll talk about. And chromium is actually really cool. It helps regulate your blood sugar and helps the cells draw energy out of that blood sugar. And blood sugar is important so you don't pass out. Chromium though is pretty important in gemstones. Ruby is colored by chromium and emerald, most emeralds, some emeralds are colored by chromium. They can also be colored by vanadium as well. So right here, this is an example of chromite. The human body is not gonna go look for chromite, which is an ore of chromium, um, you know, to get its chromium fix. But if you, if you need chromium, you are gonna go look for unrefined foods. Pause, I am not a doctor, so don't take my medical advice. So whole grains, um, nuts, cheeses, um, liver. So in the human body, copper, which is CU on the periodic table of elements, is in charge of a few like pretty important processes. Number one, regulating neurotransmitters. You want to have a good brain. Uh, number two, making red blood cells. Everyone needs blood. And number three is metabol is assisting with metabolizing fuel. All right, so let's say that you, um, you really don't care about what copper does in the body and you wanna know where to find copper. Um, well, first of all, I'm gonna tell you to go look at a few copper videos that we've done. The links will be up on the top of the screen. But in the meantime, we have this beautiful specimen of copper. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, which I hope you are, you will remember that malachite is colored by copper, uh, chrysocolla. Copper is also found in paraiba tourmaline. Paraiba tourmaline, originally, the first source was actually found in Brazil. Um, it is literally the color of Windex. It looks like Windex. But paraiba tourmaline has sometimes been called cuprian tourmaline. Paraiba is also found in uh, Mozambique. Copper is a major, uh, major, um, member of the gem stone community. And you can find it in malachite, you can find it in um, pariba tourmaline, you can also find it in the human body. All right, so let's say you want to eat copper. You want to get some more copper in your body. You're just really passionate about regulating your neurotransmitters and making blood cells. Pause, I am not a doctor, so don't take my medical advice. You're gonna go eat some organ meats. You're gonna go eat some nuts and seeds. And actually tap water has a lot of minerals in it. So you're gonna go drink some tap water, um, be safe, make sure it's filtered. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find copper, both for your body and for your gemstone collection. All right, so I'm gonna need you to bear with me. We're gonna talk about iron, which is Fe in the periodic table of elements. All right, so let's say you, you have iron in your body and you're wondering well, what does iron in my body do? Iron in your body is in charge of helping make hemoglobin, which is the oxygen carrying chemical in red blood cells. So hemoglobin helps get oxygen all over your body. Super important. But from a gemologist, iron is also really important because it is the coloring agent for aquamarine. Alrighty, so this piece right here has hematite, which you can see right there, which also has iron in it. Um, hema, hemo, we've got the blood, the whole blood thing in common right there. And also that hematite has that kind of like red rusty color too, which I think is super cool. Uh, pause, I am not a doctor, so don't take my medical advice. Let's say if you wanna eat some iron, you are gonna need to eat red meat, um, tofu, beans, 
for all you vegetarians out there, get your leafy green vegetables because if you don't have enough iron in your body, you could become anemic. Um, but also what I think is really cool, I don't know if you guys have cast iron skillets, you can actually get iron from cooking in a cast iron skillet. And I love my cast iron skillet. I use it almost every single day. So magnesium, MG in the periodic table of elements is in charge for various functions in the human body. Um, it helps regulate muscle and nerve function. It helps regulate blood pressure. Um, it helps build strong bones and teeth. Um, you know, like pretty, pretty important things. Magnesium is also from magnesite. Magnesite is an ore of magnesium. Um, so we've got some magnesite right here. So not only does magnesium help with the, your muscles and nerves, you can find it right here, and you can also find it in maybe my favorite type of sapphire ever, which is pod karasha. The best thing about magnesium is where you can eat it. Pause, I'm not a doctor, so don't take my medical advice. Two of my favorite foods are dark chocolate and avocados, which just happen to be great sources for magnesium. All right, now we're gonna talk about sodium which is Na on the periodic table of elements. This was the stone I was joking about licking earlier in the episode, which I didn't do. Alrighty, so this right here is halite. Um, and if you were to lick this, it would taste like salt, but we're not gonna do that today. Alrighty, so sodium is actually super important because it helps balance the fluids in your body and helps with like your nerves too. Okay, so one thing that's really cool about halite is it can fluoresce really brightly. And it's not always like colorless or kind of this light pink. It depends on what the trace elements are, which is probably a reason I shouldn't lick it because I don't know what trace elements are in this or who's touched it. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about zinc and we've got sphalerite here as an example of zinc. You can learn more about sphalerite. We'll pop up the link on the screen. But what's really cool about zinc is that it helps um, boost your immune system. It helps your blood clot if you want more zinc. Pause, I'm a doctor, so don't take my medical advice. In your body, you're gonna have to eat dark chocolate, which is maybe my favorite food, so. Zinc and I will be real best buds. You can also find zinc in meat, um, whole grains, shellfish. Oh man, my brain hurts after that. What mineral helps with headaches? Cause that was a lot of information. That was a lot of really great information though. Isn't that so cool, all the similarities between the human body and minerals and gemstones? I mean, wild. Anyways, we're gonna take a closer look today at Appetite. Appetite is my MVP because I love that beautiful color. I also love having strong bones and healthy teeth. So anyways, take a closer look at this Appetite. It's absolutely beautiful, that really vibrant, vibrant blue. comments, do you have an appetite collection? Are you gonna start an appetite collection? Um, definitely something that we recommend because it really is a gemstone of the rainbow. Um, so hey guys, this has been a great episode. My brain hurts because of all the cool information that we talked about today. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on what we've got coming up next. I am gonna go find some dark chocolate. I am going to go eat some steak so I can get all of my nutrients. So I am geared up and ready for next week's episode. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all and comment below. Let us know what you liked about today's episode and what you wanna cover in the future. Catch you later.